some smart city futures. Yeah, smart city futures means to me the relationship between the universities and their city in the richer sense of that word. How the universities can make the city smarter by working in co-direction with others in the city. Businesses, uh, communities, anyone that wants to work with universities basically. Because the future is, is going to be very different. And the intelligence, the sort of intelligence that the universities get work with the intelligence in business in the community to make a real difference. And what would you say in five years' time you would want to see as a small city? In, in five years' time, the, the sort of small city I would like to see is um, co-design, co-production of uh, development enterprises, businesses, uh, community enterprises, social enterprises, all with universities and, and businesses and communities working closer together and coming up with something that's quite unique to the book. The UK and, uh, in my case, particularly Manchester and Salford, right at the top of the pile. Okay, that's great. Um, in terms of universities and communities, how do you think they can actually work better together? Well, I think they have to learn a, a different language. Universities have been in an ivory tower for far too long, but they're trying to reach out in a different way. So is that like coming up with a common language? And uh, what I've found over, over the years is the more we talk together. And that's why this, uh, the name of this part of the conference is called The New Conversation. It's about how we create new conversations to link everyone together in a different way. Okay, um, and finally, what do you think Smart City Futures has achieved over the last year? Well, over the last year, Smart City Futures has developed 40 projects uh, with academics going out into the community, into business, and doing things of real uh, interest to the community and actually developing real impact as well. And, and we've seen uh, increases in community banks, in affordable housing, uh, uh, and your work in people's voice media. Uh, that's, that's the part of the future. If we really could have a thousand reporters reaching out into the community, wouldn't that be fantastic? Everyone would know about Manchester in a very different way.